Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week is school holidays, so um, we're having a very chill day at home and we all are want a little pick-me-up. So just something sweet, delicious, something. So they've uh, the kids have asked me to make something for them. So I've decided um, a very simple uh, lemon strawberry loaf cake because I can just put everything in a in a loaf tin and get it in the oven and while that is baking I can have a cup of tea and it'll be ready and we can all enjoy it so let's get baking before that don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button it really is super simple recipe and I know you guys love a simple recipe so let's do this we're gonna start with some softened butter uh, I got the butter out actually yesterday hoping I'll make something but I didn't happen so I'm gonna do that today so 200 grams of Soften butter goes in. It's all in one method, so nothing complicated. Just put everything in a bowl and beat it. You can use a hand mixer, but I'm using a stand mixer. Next goes in 200 grams of golden caster sugar. You can use normal caster sugar as well. So it goes in 200 grams of um, self-raising flour. Need to get more. Yep, that's that. Okay, now goes in three large eggs. Also just going to add... Um, two tablespoons of uh, milk there's an eggshell now a little bit of good quality vanilla extract a teaspoon now I'm gonna add a uh, zest of one lemon I'm gonna I'm using an unwaxed lemon and the last thing to go in is a teaspoon of baking powder and all I'm gonna do is beat this together. I'm gonna beat this together until it's nice, creamy and pale. Two minutes. So it's been exactly two minutes. I've lined um, and greased the sheet. You can see it's become paler and fluffier and that means it's ready. Such a lovely, fluffy batter. Oh, can't wait for a slice of this. So it has been uh, 50 minutes. The cake is now done. I've checked it with the skewer. There is okay. It's difficult to get this out of with one hand. Just gonna let it sit here for um, five, ten minutes before I get this out. Otherwise, it'll break. And while my oven is on, I thought I'll kind of stock up on some granola because um, we we have granola for breakfast almost every day. So. I've run out, so just gonna do that while this cools down. So this is still hot, but it's been five minutes. Um, I wanted to cool down on a rack because that will be much better. Oh, smells so lovely. Right. And I'm gonna, well, this will take as long as it'll take. It's so soft, really soft. So I'll 
give it half an hour or so. Let's see how long it takes to cool this down completely. Um, so I've removed the paper and I'm going to let this cool down. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the butter icing. So for that, I'm going to take the same softened butter. I've got 60 grams here. And first thing, I'm going to beat this for a good 3-4 minutes until it gets like a bit paler and creamier. Oops! Should fix that first. Much better. Honestly speaking, it looks like it has got no butter, but that's absolutely fine. I just need a little bit of icing. So, 60 grams of butter, double the icing sugar. As it's kind of coming together I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of milk and then beat this again so it's been two minutes and it's just the right quantity for one cake it's nice and pale in color uh, which means it's done and ready and I have got some gorgeous looking fresh strawberries here which I am going to slice look at that that looks absolutely stunning on its own I would happily eat this on its own but we're gonna put some stuff on it that's our buttercream just the right quantity you don't want too much it's a nice fluffy light cake that's going to be plenty of buttercream strawberries you can arrange it as you like knowing me you'll know I don't want a, I like it all homemade -y, casual inviting stuff now and now the moment of truth Guys, we are heaven. That cake is wow. Wow. It's light, it's fluffy, it's got just a bit of hint of lemon, but lots of vanilla. That buttercream, as you can see, is thin because you just need a little bit. Just a little bit because the strawberries are so sweet and delicious. Please do give this a go. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And I'll see you back for another new recipe. Bye for now. Oh, this is good.